Maybe you're, all, you're like me and you'd love to get a little exercise, but jogging is just too tough on the body. Well, how about your bike? Remember your bike? The thing out in the garage with the big wheels? Have you heard of boomers and bikes? Well, I recently took a ride with these folks and I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun. Hey guys. I hope I'm not late. You're not late. You're just in time. Yeah, you look like you're all we're, ready to go. We're ready to go. Well, let me get oh. turned around here and let's go for all a bike right. ride. Let's go for a ride. All right, let's go. I'll let you lead the way. Rock and roll. Ooh, that's heat hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is all part of uh, a bigger outdoor adventure program with AARP, right? Dessa? Yes, we're like a subgroup of the adventure group, um, Boomers and Bikes, and it's sponsored by AARP. I understand that, that there's a there's a fitness component to it, but it's about more than that, isn't it? Yes, we support active living and it's for you know healthy benefits and we get out and just meet new friends and network with the community and support the trails in, in the community and have a good time. I want to talk more because uh, we get to rest. And I like the resting part. <laughs> the so resting that's, part is good. That's been my favorite part of the ride so far. <laughs> Anybody else with me on the resting? Uh -huh. I yes. thought so. This is my age bracket right here. <laughs> so Chuck, I know a lot of the people that get involved in this as volunteers are in AARP and then go on a bike ride and get involved with, but that was kind of the opposite for you. You got drawn into the bike riding aspect of it, right? In the beginning, yeah. When I retired and I saw Dessa on TV and I thought that looked like fun, so. Brought my retirement bike out and started riding with Dessa, and then I became a volunteer. What do you see as some of the benefits of being involved in, in AARP? Just getting to know some of the folks around here as they begin to age and what are the things that are affecting them, like prescription drugs and, and retirement funds and things like really? that. So it just it's pretty neat to see what people have done in their previous life and uh -huh. and what are, what are they doing today and how they volunteer. And We're for all of the uh, abilities, and um, we we regroup so nobody gets lost off, off of the group and we have people that come and help keep the group together and we ride, we take it slow and we do, we, we average about 12 miles an hour and we do about 15 to 20 miles for the day. So I stay in behind and I just encourage folks and at whatever level that they're able to do so we make sure that everybody enjoys it and comes back. We don't want anybody not to come back because they thought it was too much. It is fun. Trust me on this one. And the next trail ride is this Saturday. It's at Grant's Trail. And for more information and to register, check out aarp.org slash St. Louis. You know, a lot of people my age are a little hesitant to get, you know, with groups of bicyclists because mm -hmm. they think it's going to be above their skill level. That's not what this is about at all. There's a big social component to it. They're, they're out getting fresh air and exercise and it's 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 a great idea just it having really a wonderful is. time yeah. it really is it looks great. like yeah. it thank you very much kent and